Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Children's Sabbath School. Our lesson today is called A Child Like Me. The memory verse is taken from Luke 2, verse 51. It says, Then he went down to Nazareth and was obedient. And the message for our story is, We are like Jesus when we obey and help. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, please help us to be obedient to our parents and to you. We love you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. A child like me. How do you show someone you love them? Do you give them lots of hugs? Are you kind to them? Do you give them presents? Do you do what they ask of you? Jesus was little, just like you. He didn't go to nursery school. He stayed home with his mother, Mary. Every day, she taught him about God. She told him stories about Adam and Eve, Noah and the ark, David and Goliath. She taught him how to pray, Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for loving me. Amen. Mary, his mother, taught Jesus songs about God like the ones you learn in Sabbath school. Jesus and Mary often went for nature walks. They listened to the birds sing. They watched beetles climb over logs and spiders spin their webs. They studied the dew on the grass. They watched the animals play. They looked at the changing colors of the sky as the sun set. As they watched all of this, Mary told Jesus that God had made the world and everything in it. Jesus' family lived in a small house, but it was clean. Jesus helped his mother around the house. He helped set the table for dinner. He helped dry the dishes. He made his bed. He helped Mary make bread. Whatever his mother asked him to do, Jesus did it cheerfully. Jesus helped his father take care of the animals. He fed them and he gave them water. He helped Joseph fix things too. When Jesus was older, he helped Joseph in his carpenter shop. Jesus was kind to neighbors and their children. He was helpful when he saw that someone had a need, such as helping the grandmother carry her heavy, heavy load of firewood or making a sad child laugh. Jesus had time to play, too. 
the other boys in his neighborhood liked to play with him. When it was time to come in and his mother called him, Jesus came quickly. Every Friday evening, Jesus' family ate a special meal to welcome the Sabbath. Jesus helped light the Sabbath candles for their meal. Then he listened carefully as Joseph prayed and talked about God. On Sabbath, Mary and Joseph took Jesus to church. There he heard the priest read from the books of the Bible. In those days, the Bible was written on scrolls. A scroll is a rolled up piece of paper with words written on it. Jesus listened carefully to the words from the scroll. He learned the words and could recite them from memory. Jesus sang songs while he worked, and people were glad to pass by his house because he was always singing. He made them feel happy. But most of all, Jesus made his family happy by obeying and being helpful. Jesus was a child, just like children are today. His parents cared for him, he ate well, played often, obeyed cheerfully, helped his mother around the home, and his father in the carpenter shop. It's time for questions. The first question is, what did Jesus do to help at home? Our story today told us that Jesus may have helped his mother around the house. He probably helped make bread. The second question is, what did Jesus do to help outside his home? From our story, we learned that Jesus may have helped his father Joseph take care of their animals. He probably fed them and gave them water. Jesus learned to serve his family and others. The people in Nazareth saw the way he acted and knew that he was a child of God. We want children to be like Jesus was. Children can learn from Jesus how to obey and help others. It's time for prayer. Let us repeat the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for joining us today, boys and girls. Remember, we are like Jesus when we obey and help. Happy Sabbath and God bless you.